Hi, I'm Ed Muschietti from Control Specialty. Let's take a few minutes to talk about an issue which is bandied about but little times understood, and that's boiler efficiency. In many cases, when you talk to a boiler technician, or in, for that matter, people who sell boilers, they'll talk about boilers efficiencies being in the 80, 81, 82 percent range, and they always seem to hear this number. And that number is correct because what we're referring to is the combustion efficiency of the boiler, which is typically measured with a stack analyzer. What that measurement is telling us is how efficiently is the burner consuming the fuel and oxygen to give us a good burn rate. But that number really doesn't tell us a thing about the actual efficiency of the boiler itself. We mentioned before that combustion efficiency is the measure of how well we're adjusting the fuel-air mixture to get ideal combustion. But the rest of the story with the efficiency of the boiler is really understanding that the measurement we're after is how much fuel is the boiler consuming compared to how much steam is being delivered to the plant. Or mathematically, what we want to really look at is compare the ratio of BTUs delivered to the system as compared to the BTUs consumed by the boiler. Where do all these losses go? Well, let's think about it for a minute. Every boiler is going to be warm when you touch it, so therefore there's a radiation loss associated with the boiler operating. Typically, radiation losses on boilers are about 3% to 4% of their full rate of capacity. Exhaust losses, which can be air leaking in or out, or in others, the boiler which affect the combustion process. Every time we start up the boiler, we have to purge the boiler out before we light it off to avoid an explosion. In the process of doing that, we're pumping cold air through the boiler, which cools it down. That affects efficiency. So the number of times we start and stop the boiler have an effect on efficiency, and therefore, if you have a boiler which is grossly oversized for the load on connected to it, will have a profound effect on efficiency. We need to look at blowdown losses. Again, an oversized boiler which has more water inside it, it means it has to be blown down more frequently and there's more water loss associated with that. And then variations in losses and loads and many other factors depending upon the specific type of boiler that you're looking at or operating in your plant. Fuel to steam efficiencies for I say a boiler which is operating at one or 81 percent combustion efficiency can be as much as 10 to 15 to 20 percent lower. If you're not sure about what your efficiencies are, you need to consult with someone who can give you some guidance on how to measure your steam flows in, out from the boiler, and your gas flows coming in. Mirror boilers, which were designed and engineered in Japan, but are now built in North America, were designed with a simple philosophy. The most efficient boiler is one which is not running. So the whole design premise of this boiler is to immediately shut the boiler off the minute there's no steam demand on it, and have the ability to turn the boiler on very quickly, typically about 30 seconds from no boiler in operation to the boiler in operation. Using that concept, the mirror really suggests that what you consider doing is going to multiple boilers to meet widely road changing load demands, and then use a system, basically a PLC-based system, to turn these boilers off and on to meet your load requirements. Using this kind of concept gives you redundancy in your plant, flexible operations, and most importantly, you can achieve 85% fuel to steam efficiencies, which is virtually impossible with any other brand of water operated. Rising energy costs for all of us are a real issue, and we're all feeling a pinch at the gas pump. If you're operating an industrial plant, you've probably seen your steam bill literally double in this last few years, but unfortunately it may continue that way. Mirror borders provide a great opportunity to substantially cut fuel consumption by increasing efficiencies. Using a multiple boiler setup and the ability to turn these boilers off and on very quickly, typically less than 30 seconds, mirror boilers are capable of meeting your steam requirements in your plant in a very automated kind of fashion, and in the same process cut your fuel bill typically in the area of 15%. If you've got more interest in mirror boilers, please give us a call and we'll be glad to discuss with you the specifics in your plant. Thank you for your time.